All right, guys, we're on Deuteronomy 27. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. And it shall be on the day when you shall pass over Jordan unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, that thou shalt set thee up great stones and plaster them with plaster. So he's saying, like, make shrines, make posters, right, out of stone and make these commandments known to people, you know. It's kind of like the ancient propaganda in a, in a way. So, I command you this day and it shall be on the day when you shall pass over Jordan. So, once you get to the place that I give you, start establishing your rule, your your way of living, your, your propaganda. Jordan unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, that thou shalt set thee up great stones and plaster them with plaster. And thou shalt write upon them all the words of this law, when thou art passed over, that thou mayest go in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, a land that floweth with milk and honey, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee. Therefore it shall be, when ye be gone over Jordan, that ye shall set up these stones, which I command you this day, in Mount Ebal, E-B-A-L, Mount Abal. And thou shalt plaster them with plaster, and there shalt thou build an altar unto the Lord thy God. So create you this holy place of congregation, an altar of stones thou shalt, Thou shalt not lift up any iron tool upon them. Thou shalt build the altar of the Lord thy God of whole stones, and thou shalt offer burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord thy God. And thou shalt offer peace offerings, and shalt eat there and rejoice before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt write upon the stones all the words of this law very plainly. The Ten Commandments. So and Moses and the priests, the Levites, spoke unto all Israel, saying, Take heed and hearken, O Israel, this day that thou art become the people of thy Lord thy God. Remember, so... Going back to uh, Deuteronomy 26, this is the day that thou has officially become the people of the Lord thy God, which, uh, I mean, God's been with them for more than 40 years, right? Because they're out of the wilderness now. What this is telling me is that he's speaking to those specifically who are going to inherit the land. You know, people have died along the way. That would seem uh, realistic, right? So he's speaking right now, this day thou art become the people of the Lord thy God. That, that tells me we're anticipating them to finally reach that place. This is what that's telling me. So, thou shalt therefore obey the voice of the Lord thy God and do his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Now Moses charged the people the same day, saying, These shall stand upon Mount Gerizim to bless the people when ye are come over Jordan, Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Issachar, and Joseph, and Benjamin. I wonder why he's mentioning these people. And these shall stand upon Mount Ebal to curse Reuben, Gad, Asher, Zebulun, Dan, and Afalti. I wonder why I curse though, right? Reuben, Gad. And the Levites shall speak and say unto all the men of Israel with a loud voice, Cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image, an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and put it in a secret place. And all the people shall answer and say, Amen. So cursed be the man that maketh any graven or molten image, like any other idols besides the God of this Bible. So an, an abomination unto the Lord, the work of the hands of the craftsmen, and put it in a, in a secret place. So curse anybody who's secretly <laughs> like praising some other God in secret, right? <laughs> and all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Like, I agree. Amen's like, I agree. Um... Put it in a secret place. Uh, Cursed be he that setteth light by his father or his mother. And all the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that setteth light. I'm not sure what that means. Cursed be he that removeth his neighbor's landmark. And all the people say, Amen. Cursed be he that maketh the blind to wander out of the way. Like, um, you know, be some sort of a bad influence. Cursed be he that perverteth the judgment of the stranger, fatherless and widow. All the people shall say, Amen. Cursed be he that lieth with his father's wife, because he uncovereth his father's skirt. <laughs> so don't have, don't have sex with your father's wife. Cursed be he that lieth with any manner of beast. Like don't have sex with an animal. Cursed be he that lieth with his sister, the daughter of his father, or the daughter of his mother. Don't have incest. Cursed be he that lieth with his mother-in-law. <laughs> don't sleep with your mother-in-law. Yeah, don't cheat on your wife. Cursed be he that smiteth his neighbor secretly. Like, you know, love your neighbor, right? And cursed be he that taketh reward to slay an innocent person. Don't be a hitman. I'm just kidding, guys. Don't murder. Cursed be he that confirmeth not all the words of this law to do them. 
Cursed be he that confirmeth not. Like, cursed be he that doesn't speak these, these words. Let's say this isn't real and this is really created by some sort of government, just to, by some governing body, and it just kind of seemed to work so far. You know, it gives people some faith in a higher power, keeps them giving them purpose in life to live in a civil society. They must have seen the effects when people just, like, they must have, they must have, um, you know, like, if you love somebody and they go have sex with somebody, like, they seen that natural emotional reaction to that. So, which is why they put it here. Like, don't have sex with animals. Um, I mean, I think it's like a universal thing that's kind of odd, right? But, I don't know, like, were they seeing that? You know, I read a book on some author who writes for the black community that was enslaved in America. And there was this plantation where there was only one woman on the plantation. And she chose to be with one other male slave. And all the other males were like six other male black slaves. They were having sex with the cows or some shit like that because there was, like, what the fuck? They had nobody to, you know, they were just sex, had that sexual desire. Like, are they going to go to hell? You know, I just have questions. I don't know. Um, obviously, you sleep with your mother-in-law. Your fucking wife's not going to like that, right? That causes issues. Every This is all to kind of to um, kind of regulate human problems, regulate, you know, sh regulate human emotion, really. Uh, obviously, don't kill somebody that's innocent. <laughs> And then also, hey, if you don't confirm what we say, and also, yeah, so. Anyway, y'all, peace.